but that is extra powerful all right next up lorenzo here now this is some kind of friend right here that has been accompanying me my nakama since the first year the mr uh lorenzo so when low oberon came uh, the spear UR unit, like one of the most powerful uh, unit at the time, and Oberon counters Cloud, which is so crazy powerful at the time. Uh, now, Lorenzo is the alternative um, alternative combo. So you have Oberon and Lorenzo, and Lorenzo would do a Pierce type of attack combo together with Oberon. And that is one of the, um, I, I would imagine that is very deadly for bosses that has fierce weaknesses. And um, I I focuses on Cloud, so I am the, I'm the one who is being countered, so I haven't raised up his level a lot. Uh, but now it's the time for me to, you know, kind of update my friend that has been here for me for, uh, for three years, man. Three years of War of the Vision, so cool. Okay, next, this is one of the difficult uh, stage right here. The, this second mastery stage is pretty hard. And you could die here if you don't uh, have strong characters. Right on, 200 damage. Dream within a dream, not a lot of damage. Uh, Earth characters is known to be pretty tanky. Including Lorenzo who is supposed to be just a dragoon and a damage dealer. But he, as you guys could see, he is tanky. He is being a tank right now instead of being an attacker. That is very concerning but also admirable to see. Alright, Conscripting Cliff 3.6 thousand right there from uh, Sorel. And now we have Resnick again. The girl, she's ready to heal Lorenzo but I don't think she's, she's, she considered him to be that much of a... of being in a serious condition. <laughs> I think Resnick should have healed him though. Uh, Alright, now Lorenzo's turn up next. He's going to use a summon Ifrit. Now, if you guys know Ifrit could boost up your healing power, and if you are a Pierce user, uh, a Lancer, or a Dragoon like, uh, like Lorenzo right here, you could focus Ifrit for Pierce type of attack. So, not only if Ifrit has the one of the coolest summoning animation um, and three years ago I think uh, but but it's also he's also pretty strategic a very strategic as per even until now after three years okay the walls turn up next the the last enemy would be an archer at the back now the problem here is that reaching over there is pretty difficult so uh, sub jobs such as thief or lancers are are the go-to characters so this stage is pretty perfect for lorenzo because this uh, positioning really requires like a lot of jump level a lot of movement level uh, upon which a uh, dragoon such as Lorenzo would be able to reach. Now it's the enemy's turn again after we see some corpses. Alright. And the archer again. He's running away, but I think now he's trapped. Elfra, the white element, versatile magician, slash healer, slash um, time mage. Okay, Resnick's turn up next again. I think Lorenzo is charging a time magic. Would it be Meteor? It, it is a command! See guys, Lorenzo also has the ability to haste your team. That is what's unique about him. Not only he is fast, he's deadly, but, but he could make himself even faster or his teammate. He's really cool like that. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have picked up that crystal. Let, let's see. Earth unit allies would be boosted. Par paralysis resistance plus 25. So that's unique right there. Own max, own max HP. So not for the whole team. 25%. Defense 10. Accuracy 40. So this HP 25 and defense 10 is, is, um, is something interesting because I want to test it out whether he would be... He would be viable for UR battles, okay? Because sometimes MR characters, after receiving a buff, could surprisingly be used in a certain way that could face off with some UR characters, even even in a way that uh, the enemy hasn't hasn't anticipated yet. So that is interesting to explore. Anti paralysis as well. 
accuracy 40 so that's that is also needs testing how much accuracy is that uh, if you want more in-depth maths you should check out ready player wheels restores ap auto restore and haste removal to own successful attacks so still crystal sanctum church right here at sadalis church but apparently this is the second mass request for elsha the light element time mage slash healer and also slash uh tank slash attacker magic damage dealer all right elsha here is from rundle so she's she's friends with lucia she's friends with um jaden and she is an mr character i think she is very versatile like other mr characters do but but she has kind of low health or low speed that is a big problem however though if you can build her well and i wanted to see what's the second mastery's quest uh is going to give to her uh, I think uh, if I could make her work, that would be very interesting. So Elsha, so uh, my bonus character here, my companion character is Paris from Final Fantasy V. Talking about Final Fantasy V in the free fields battle, um, Kefka, right? No, Kefka Final Fantasy VI, my bad. Okay, this is Final Fantasy V Paris. Paris is a unique character that has combo types of attacks, special moves. So one after another, you can use two types of attacks in one turn. So it's like Final Fantasy Tactics Ninja. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, even though War of the Vision is actually a game that is built on Final Fantasy Tactics style uh, map or system, but still haven't got two Age of Sword Ninja. <laughs> but you know it's fine okay now vertical jump from the enemy on faris even though she's paralyzed she is still tanky sarel here is also being tanky on the for the right flank she got 20 after just a regular attack now let's see uh, i want to check out lorenzo later whether his successful attack gives him out ap out of his score wave cutter that is a powerful move, but she's not using her combo move. Um, Lorenzo, well, Lo Lorenzo dodges a status effect probably just then. Uh, Resnick's turn up next. I think my my device is getting hot, so there are delays, guys, in terms of recommended ability. So sorry about that. Render the heavens by you all. Very strong right there. Area of effect attack. I wish there could be more enemies around that area of effect. That was a successful attack, but weirdly, why is Lorenzo? It's not a doesn't doesn't experience AP at the store. That is weird. I gotta learn more about that. There's supposed to be there's an AP auto restore every time he does an attack. All right. Okay. So now I know. Sarels managed to kill her side and clear it up. Now it's uh, Lorenzo's turn and Yuval's turn. Faris also is waiting for Resnick to make a move. What kind of support abilities Resnick's, Resnick's going to use? All right, waiting here. Okay, he's she's charging up something. All right, um, what? Oh, self of self preservation and increase in spirit and defense. You all turn up next. She's summoning. She's summoning Golem. All right, Golem here, killing two enemies at once and give me Asma to the stage. Quest clear. Woo! Okay, let's see what's Elstra going to do. She, just, I think she needs a lot of agility based on just this battle because she doesn't take a lot of turn. But let's see, what do we got? Max HP 10%, light attack 10 for uh, the whole team. So the whole team is going to be more deadly on magic 40%. That is incredible. Accuracy rate 15 and hate minus 3. That is very good for support so that the enemy doesn't prioritize her in auto battle activation time minus 20 so the speed is in the cast time instead of her turn turn frequency all right